Hey, and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and Southern Cross Station. That's right, we are back at Southern Cross and we are finally back in FS22 and we are just going to get cracking on. It's been a little bit of time since we had our last uh, Southern Cross episode out, so let's just get cracking. Right, what are we going to do? Well, today we're going to harvest our cornfield up here. So uh, field four, uh, as you can see, field four, five and six all have corn and they're all ready to harvest. Um, so uh, that's the next job. Well, field four is ready to harvest. That's the next job on the uh, on the horizon. Um, then after that, we've got field two and field seven. Uh, field two's got soybean. Field seven has um, oh, what the hell was that again? Sugar beet. That's right. Um, so we've got to harvest all that off once uh, we've got that going as well. Um, our other fields. Uh, just a bit of a recap. We've we've harvested off these fields off 13, 14, field one and field three, um, so they're uh, been turned over, replanted, ready to go. Our grass field, field 20, CP1, this field over here, and CP2, um, they are growing as well. I don't think they're ready, no, they're not ready to harvest, um, which is fine. So um, the other thing I did want to talk about as well, this is the new version of the map, or the updated version of the map that's available on the in-game mod hub. So previously we were using the PC-only version that was available um, purely from Facebook, from um, Hox Modding's uh, Facebook page. Um, it has since been released, approved, and is now available for console and PC. Um, and that's what we're continuing to play here. So without further ado, let's get into it. We need to get these things cracking. So we're gonna have both combines here running a course. Um, and in fact, I think we have our, do we have a course ready to go? I don't know. Let me see. Um, what? Field number was it again? I've forgotten already. Field four. Right, so let's... Um, corn combine times two. Yes, we did. Load course. Activate. Escape out of that. Right, so he's ready to go. He is running the left course. So we're going to jump out of that. Go into here. Uh, we are going to go into here. Four. Corn combine. Load course activate. Um, escape out of that. We're running the left. That's okay. All right. So uh, without further ado, let's get these guys going. So uh, you're running left. The other one's going to run right. So we're going to do that. Um, first waypoint and get going. Okay. You're going to do right. First waypoint. And we're just going to bring you back up here out of the way. And we've got our, um, oh, what's that? Nine, it looks like an, either a 9RX or 8RX um, sitting here broken down. I mean, um, ready to go. So uh, we're going to get that going. Uh, right, he's gone so that we can get him going as well now. And away we go. So we're going to get the corn harvest underway, well and truly. Excellent. All right, let's go see what else we've got to do. Um, there's not much else to do around the farm for the moment. Oh, hang on. Oh, Okay. Um, not much else to do on the farm at the moment. Um, I will take one of these trucks over. I'll take this one over um, so we can load the corn into. So let's just uh, do that right now. Um, so we'll take the big Kenworth, the big K200 over. And uh, that can be what we load the corn into. So we'll get that all ready to go as well. All right, we're getting in here through the silos and out through to the main gate. Well, there's no actual no main gate, but you know what I mean. Out the driveway and head off up to the field. So I'm pleased to say that um, with this, um, we just set our time back up. Uh, with this uh, version of the map, the the grass painting and shrubbery painting, all that has been included back in again. Um, in the original version, that wasn't available, so it uh, made it a bit of a pain. Uh, but that's now been fixed, so that is excellent. Um, and thankfully there wasn't much for us to, to switch over it, it basically was pretty seamless so we're quite happy with that as well so um yeah things things are looking good all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna park the truck here like so there we go i'll shut you off uh and i'll go grab the tractor and the auger wagon because it's not going to take as long to have to uh empty these out all right so here we go so we've got our demco auger wagon 
um, along with the 9RX, 9620 RX to be precise. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, get going. So we're we're happy to be back. Um, we should see an, another Aussie fact file um, will pop up at some stage during this video. So one of the things we're doing, because I know many of my um, viewers are not Australian, they're American. Um, so uh, just going to pop up little little random snippet fact files um, here and there um, of, of facts from Australia. Um, so hopefully you might enjoy those. You might learn something. <laughs> Heaven forbid. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so uh, we'll just keep on going with that. So I hope you're enjoying uh, the series in that regard. So anyway, uh, we have updated our course play as well. We are using the latest version of the course play uh, mod. Um, my good mate JJ's told me there's been a few little tweaks here and there since I last uh, updated, so that's fine. Um, but still working seemingly the same as what I'm used to, so that's all good. I do have the auto drive mod as well. It's not set up for this particular save, um, but I am going to be playing around with that and setting that up as well. And I do also plan on doing some uh, how-to videos just uh, on how to, um, to utilize both of those mods, both together and individually. Right, I'm going to see if I've got this set to... No, I haven't got a set to stop. That's fine. So I will go through and set those up because otherwise um, it becomes a bit of a pain. Right, so let's go find the combines. Okay. Um, stop it in. No, 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 no. Raise tools, lower tools. Uh, combine self-unload, deactivate it. Stop by unloading, activate it, and unfold the pipe. Yes. Okay. And you do the same thing with you. Self-unload, deactivate it, activate it, activate it. Right, so he's okay. All right. As you can see, one of them is almost full. So, I'll continue on around here. First combine is almost full. Hopefully we can get to it before it diverts. I don't think we will, though. No, he's doing it now. That's alright. Let's we'll get this sorted. Alright, hope everyone is being well. I've, um, as you would know, or most of you will probably know by now, we've had some uh, rather critical PC failures. Oh, PC failure. Um, our CPU basically died. Um, and it took a period of time to not only get it diagnosed, but get it um, RA'd and all that sort of stuff. But uh, we've now got it up and running again. So that is fantastic. But, um, yeah, it's been some time since I last recorded. It's been over six weeks since I last recorded. Thankfully, I had three weeks buffer of uh, videos in the queue. But if you want to hear the full story, um, then episode 59 of our Elm Creek series um, will cover that off and go through the trials and tribulations of everything that happened, both with the PC and other things. Um, this cause does issues and that going forward but uh, nonetheless at the moment the most important thing is we are back up and running and we are starting to get content back out again so when you're seeing this we may not have the full schedule running full tilt um, with the the four videos um, daily sort of thing or a video daily um, with the four main series running um, but we will endeavor to get that back up and running as quick as possible um, but obviously it takes some time to do that and I still have a family of five to, to deal with and real life job and all that sort of stuff so um, we'll, we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can alright so basically with this uh, overloader we'll be offloading the combines twice and then offloading into the truck so um, it's not uh, a hugely oversized overloader this one what we're going to do is we're going to preempt and we'll cut in here offload him now and then we can go offload before the other one gets full again well that's the plan whether it, whether it actually happens that way is not a matter of right uh, the other thing I've, I've got to say with all these videos is um, all our family is quite sick at the moment with the flu um, and there's lots of coughing and, and spluttering going on, particularly the coughing, the, the real barky cough. 
Um, and if you do hear that in the background, I apologise. I, I know there's nothing I can do about it, all that sort of stuff. Um, but just letting you know. Um, I think the microphone doesn't pick it up. I think I've got it tuned out with the noise compression gate and all that sort of stuff that it won't pick it up unless they're close to me sort of thing. But um, yeah, if you do hear it, I, I like I said, I do apologise and won't uh, impact this too much, hopefully. All right. He's now basically empty and we're going to head on over here and see if we can get this going. Right. So it's a lovely day to be out uh, in the Australian farming area uh, and uh, doing a bit of farming. Not much wind bl blowing, is there? Um, Unfortunately, we do have the uh, fire brigade on standby, as usual, because we are using our John Deere equipment. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Come on, guys. You know you know by now. Right. But anyway, so, um, yeah, but we're, uh, this is our map where we're primarily utilizing John Deere equipment. Um, he's just going to power on through there, isn't he? I'm going to be able to squeeze through there without, yeah, probably not. We'll let him continue. We'll squeeze through there now. Okay. I gotta remember which one was my pipe button. It was that one. That's good. Um, yeah, so uh, we're gonna continue using the, the John Deere, even though they may break down a lot on us. But uh, no, this is our map for our John Deere fans. Uh, we don't tend to use John Deere much. I'm, I personally just don't like the John Deere. Not that I hate them, just don't like them. Actually, no, I probably do hate them. No, um, yeah, so, but I did promise, uh, we did a poll a while back and and I knew it would be. I, everyone just hates me though. So everyone selected John Deere, go big or go home type of map. And that's what we're doing here, so. Suck it all in, take it all in, because you won't see much more John Deere from me with FS22. All right. Almost done. There we go. Done. Now. Almost in time to go and offload the other combine again. All right, here we go. I'm unloading a bit early. That's because we can. I don't normally use corn, do corn as a, as a crop, so um, I don't know if I'll continue to do corn. Um, but it doesn't really matter, I guess, um, but for the moment, because it was the, the, the default crops or in the, uh, the fields when we started the series, um, that's what we end up using, so that's okay. If we don't come back to it again, that's, that's fine. It's not going to make that much of a difference to us. Alright, he's going to continue on now. And then we'll just slip in over here, behind. And we'll get ready to offload the other combine. We've got a bit of cash behind us at the moment, which is fine. Uh, it's going to have a look and see how our animals are going. Um, the sheep are all okay. Uh, so when we when we did transfer the map, though, we did have to set all this up again. Um, 
So I've got still got a couple of sheep barns there, but haven't got any sheep in them. So I'm gonna have to fix that up. Um, so we can fix that up after we finish this uh, harvest. Um, we've got our cows; they're running fine. Uh, so that's uh, that's okay. Um, so we're all all good there. So all right, he's uh, finished unloading again. So we're gonna go and offload back into the semi again. And we'll go back around the bottom of the uh, the field and we'll meet up with the combines again. So I hope you're um, you're enjoying the series. I hope you're enjoying the, the videos and all that sort of stuff. And I hope you're enjoying this map. So if you are playing this map, uh, irrespective of whether it's on console or PC, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, I think it's quite a good map. Um, I'm still missing my my Ningen farms uh, that our good mate Aussie farmer produced for FS19, um, but uh, this is a this is a pretty good map so far as well. So um, I'm certainly enjoying uh, getting our teeth into this one. So we've got a long way to go yet. We've only just sort of scratched the itch on the surface, so to speak. So um, there's a long, long way to go yet. Yeah, just let me know. All right, so we're going to continue on. We're going to offload this. We'll take off around, like I said, the bottom half of the, uh, or the top half of the top part of the field. In in actual fact, um, talking north versus south. And then we'll go and offload again because by the time we get there, he'll be ready to go. And I'm just going to have a wet the whistle moment. So this series, as a part to the rest of the series we've got going at the moment, um, will not be so much based on production. There will be some production elements, obviously, to it. Uh, but we won't be uh, putting in huge amounts of orchards and stuff like that. We've got two orchards in, and that's pretty much the extent of where we're going to go with that. Um, I think that um, this one can be more uh, related to normal, normal farming, crop work, and animals. Um, so that's what we're going to do and obviously we're going to have a big sheep station so obviously producing of wool um, and uh, in fabric and then obviously with the the tailor will be probably the most uh, production we get done noting that we're also going to be running cotton as well so uh, we'll also have cotton feeding into that production line as well so um, we may end up getting to the point where we're going to need two or three spinneries to cope with the amount of input um, that's coming in to create uh, our fabric because we'll have, um, what have we got, six six sheep pens I think at the moment. Uh, like I said, there's two or three that aren't being used at the moment. Um, and then we've got um, two cotton harvesters. I think we've got two cotton harvesters, maybe more. Uh, let's have a quick look. I can't remember how many we bought. Um, I need to go to the other menu. There we go. Uh, cotton technology I've got two so um, yes yeah, so that's that's fine so we'll do a fair bit of cotton coming up in the future as well all right we're gonna wait for this guy to come around the corner so I'm gonna head back down here All right, so April Fool's Day, April 1st, first day of April. He's at 91%, so we'll slot in and get him done now before he uh, goes up and resets himself, ready for the next run. I blocked him there. Yes. 
perfectly positioned. Alright, so off with him. Uh, the other guy's heading up to reorientate himself for his next part of his course he's doing. This guy will follow there on. Now they do get a bit messy. There's a point here, I, I, I think I, I recall back a couple of weeks ago when I was testing this. Um, this course has got a bit of a bug in it, the way the uh, harvesters follow it at one point. So I'm going to have to be mindful of that point and uh, just make sure that uh, we don't uh, cause the conflict that I had in my solo version. So we're getting full. We've got plenty of popcorn to make. 10% to go from the combine. And there we go. Right. Top up this trailer here. So, first trailer full. Hmm, there we go. We can just wait down here because they're coming back down the the row there that's okay um right so let's see what else we got to do um milk let's see if we've got much more milk at the uh no we've already filled that up so we've got sixteen thousand liters of milk in the truck ready to go uh there's our two other trucks that we've got uh, two typical australian livery trucks so the lindsay transport and uh toll logistics um, K200, so uh, they're ready to go if we need them. Uh, what else we got? We got the mower down here. Oh, that's what we might do. Let's set up the um, let's set up the sheep. So there's one, two, three, four, five, five sheep pens we've got. All right, now I'm gonna get some. Yeah, I'm going to buy adult ones because it's just easier. I'm going to get some uh, Swiss Black Brown Mountain. Um, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to buy 60. I'm going to select, buy another 60. 120, that's fine. Okay. There we go. Next. Uh, where's the next one? This one over here, over the back, we haven't put any sheep in. Hello, sheepies. Right. right. We haven't got any black sheep, have we? Right. Black Welsh mountain sheep. Right. Not this much of a mountain, but anyway. I, yes. Okay, I'm actually going to buy 180 of these ones. So I'll buy those. Buy. There we go. All right. Excellent. Now the problem we've got is I've got to go feed them. So what we need is I need my trailer. Where's my trailer gone? There it is. Right, so we've got the 9620. Uh, he's got the trailer that we use for our sheep. All right, so come in here now. That's our silage. Don't need silage, we just need our hay. I'm going to come in here and grab some hay from the hay dryer. Load him up. All right. All right. Oh, have we not got enough hay? Seriously? How much hay we got? Oh, not much. Okay. 
That's why I hadn't got the other um, sheep yet. Now I remember. All right, there's grass in there, so it's drying. Um, that's okay. We'll get some eventually, but hopefully we've got enough that they don't starve or anything else in the future or in the meantime, I mean. All right. Okay, we'll stand coming by that tree. I'm tight in here. Let's fucking even hit the trigger. We can't. Okay. Right. We'll try that again. Right this way. All right. Um, why aren't you hitting the trigger? Hmm. A little bit worrying. Let's go see if we can get on the other triggers. I don't think anything's changed enough for that to, to not be hitting the trigger. Hmm. Oh. Didn't think I need to be in that close. But anyway, we'll, we'll try it. A little bit worrying. Can't find the trigger at all. Hmm. What do you mean no spare capacity for hay? Are you kidding me? Where's it got the food from? Is it automatically, or have I already put the food in there? I must have already, uh, maybe I did. Let's have a look. Maybe I already filled up the animals pens with the hay ready to go. 50, no, nothing there. Okay, I filled one up, but not the other. Okay, all right, let's uh, go sort this out then. Okay, can I get back up around here? Yes. So I'm going to get back up around. Oh. No, I can't because there's that fence there. Well, something has to go wrong in a video here and there for duck, doesn't it? Right. Uh, combines need to be unloaded. So I'm wasting time doing this. I could be unloading my combines. Let's go. Bring this in. Might have to remove that tree, I think. Yeah, you know I'm gonna remove I'm gonna remove it. Okay. We're coming through here. I just want you to hit the trigger. Seriously? Now they haven't got any food. They don't want me to let the hit the trigger. Hmm. Right. I might have to just leave this and come back to it. There may be a bug with that um, with that sheep pen. I don't know. But we'll have to have a look and see. We'll just come in once more. It's never normally been this. Uh, there we go. Got it. Right. Um, right. Uh, um. Yeah, okay. All right, that's fine. So it's working. Let's go off and unload, unload these combines. 
Uh, where's the tractor? There it is. All right, let's go. All right, so that was a bit of a bit of a delay, but anyway. All right, so that's basically going to be the end of the episode after screwing around with those sheep so long. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, don't forget to press that like button if you like the series and if you like the fact that we're back doing videos. Um, that's a that's a double like there that that one. Um, if not, that's okay. You can press the dislike button too. Um, either way, it helps us with that algorithm. So. Uh, just make sure that uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing as well. And if you do subscribe, please make sure you press that alarm notification icon so you're made aware of when new videos like this are available on the channel. And of course, don't forget to come and join us on uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook and Discord. Details for those are down below in the comments. i uh, love to have you on board. And of course, most importantly, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Southern Cross Station. See you later. Bye.